Okay, we are back for another F1 reaction. My name is Max, and what I do on this channel is I look at all different types of people's communication skills. Recently, we've been getting into the F1 scene. I just finished watching a video of Charles from 2019. We're gonna get into Charles some more with Carlos. I'm assuming he's another driver. If you're enjoying my stuff, please hit that subscribe button, stick around for more, and please leave a comment and let me know what else you'd like to see. Other than that, let's get into this video today with Charles and Carlos. Charles, here they say they secretly love pineapple on pizza. Oh, <laughs> oh no, no. This you, is... you love pineapple on pizza? I hate on it. Pizza. I've never tried actually. I've never tried, but I, it's not something that I am attracted to. I haven't tried and I will not try. But no, nobody loves uh, pineapple on pizza. In he already seems like he's more confident and sure of himself, Charles does in this interview, than in the past interview that I watched in 2019. He seems more relaxed, more sure of himself, more at ease in this particular setting. So for those of you who've been following Charles's career, would you say that's a fair assessment to make? There's been sort of a big development in his, I guess you can say maturity, but more so his confidence and his comfort within himself. Too much time together outside work. We do spend quite a bit of time. More than what people think, I think. Yeah. I mean, we, spend we play golf, traveling, golf. We play uh, chess. Paintball. Paintball. <laughs> oh, we, we, there's still no winner at paintball. We did 2-2. Two, two. They seem like they're tight, these two. Carlos seems cool. Carlos seems like he's a pretty inquisitive guy. The type of guy who like really listens to you and asks questions and is interested in what you have to say. Charles seems to be the one that might even like be more comfortable in the spotlight than Carlos. Like, again, Charles is looking like a different guy here than in the first interview that I watched. I think he's developed a lot in terms of his comfort in front of the cameras and his confidence. We feel the responsibility of driving for this amazing team, but it's not like it doesn't let us sleep or anything like that. We sleep very well. <laughs> or they can speak Italian. Certo. Certo. Of course we do. Carlos seems like he's a little bit more like Type B than Charles. But I'm starting to like spicy food. Okay, but I'm why are you called chili then? From Carlos to Charlie to Charles to chili. <laughs> like my friends call me Charles from there, Charlie and Charlie uh, Chili. Okay, I, th I thought there was a story behind it. No, there's no story behind it. Okay. I'm just called Chili. <laughs> That's a funny little interaction there. These guys are both honest, straightforward dudes. I like this. This seems to be sort of the theme with these F1 communicators. And I feel like Carlos was one of those guys that is funny and doesn't even mean to be funny. But I'm starting to like spicy food. In the way that he kind of reflects on certain situations and speaks about them honestly. The show does is to supply the team with fuel for each race. Uh, no, that's not all they do. Uh, of course, they supply us with the fuel, with the oil too, uh, but we also have a lot of shell engineers at the track that are helping. Yeah, so he's a very straightforward, honest seeming communicator, Charles is. No, that's not what they do. Uh, no. He gets on top of everything. He wants to make sure he's answering, it feels like, in the most honest way possible. And he does it with a little bit of a grin. He's likable, right? Like I think Charles is a likable guy. He's got this likability about him and I think a lot of it comes from that charming disposition. But he does still have an abruptness to him and this like propensity toward just being as honest as possible to the point where he'll be confrontational and disagreeable with you about it. And I do believe his nonverbal communication gives us a softer impression into his character. F1 teams change fuel supplier all the time. Well, maybe some teams do, but we don't. In Ferrari, we've been with Shell for 70 years, more than 70 years, sorry. And uh, yeah, it's been a long partnership. Like Carlos is definitely a, a different nature about him than Charles. Again, I don't think he's as type A. I don't think he's as assertive. I think he's just a little bit more chill and relaxed and easygoing. I think some people might be fooled by Charles and think he's easygoing, but I don't know if he necessarily is. They've managed to yeah. you. I don't know. We came a bit later. Just we came a bit later. But, uh, but <laughs> it's been a successful one and we are one team for, hungry for more. And uh, yeah, I see the other teams might change fuel, but not, not. But they both seem like very honest dudes. 
I will say that. I like how straightforward they are. I'm getting that vibe from a lot of these F1 guys. This is cool. Just straight up. Carlos is a little bit more on the relaxed side out of all the guys that I've seen. And again, like I commented earlier, he seems just a little bit more conversational in his approach. He's just been looking at Charles a little bit more and deferring to him a little bit more and kind of just keeping things that feels like more casual in a way. One, and we are one team for hungry for more. And uh, yeah, I see the other themes might- and Maybe it's just part of it is his English isn't as sharp or as strong, maybe slightly less than Charles Leclerc. Only aero engine upgrades make a difference to Ferrari performance. Wrong. I mean, there are a lot of factors that are into a performance of a weekend. We are also part of it. Shell is part of it. Uh, the engine, the chassis. See, right away, not afraid to be disagreeable, not afraid to challenge the question. Wrong. Wrong. I He's quick to correct. You think of someone who's confrontational, generally that person that you picture has sort of an angry disposition. He almost has this light, yet somewhat disagreeable personality. It's really interesting, actually. The aero is part of it, and you need to have the best of all of these ingredients to then win races. So uh, yeah, it is not only engine or aero. Carlos beats Charles at chess more often. I actually think there's things we can learn from Charles Leclerc's communication style. It's like, it's okay to be direct. It's okay to say no if something that you feel is incorrect is incorrect. Say no, it's okay. But perhaps if we want to deliver our message in a way where people are more accepting of our message and their guards aren't up as high, I think perhaps there's things in our body language we can work on to allow people to feel that softness from us a little bit more, for lack of a better word. Yeah, but before that, <laughs> yeah, I'm not a night guy. He's very good at chase the night. So whenever we come back from races from nine onwards, the evening, you are very good. You've from nine to nine, I win. Yeah, but then from the morning to the You're from nine early to evening, I am much better. Deal. So even in chess, he's super competitive, right? Even with chess, he's talking about chess like he's talking about F1, like his professional career. Like he's so realistic about, just similar to Max Verstappen, realistic about his strength and his weaknesses. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a night guy. Charles Leclerc seems to really know himself in that way. Thanks for sharing all the um, very wrong assumptions that you, <laughs> you had. True. Some of them that were true. A lot of them that were wrong. But it was good fun. We definitely had a good laugh and send us more because I'm sure we will do some more of this in the future. Bye. Yeah, Carlos is funny without trying to be funny, I feel like. It seems like he kind of defers more to Charles than Charles defers to Carlos. I feel like Charles is kind of like the, the big dog in that relationship, the alpha dog in a way. But Carlos seems like a really sweet guy, honest as well. The two of these guys seem to have a tight bond and a really good dynamic, and it was good to see a little bit of a looser side to Charles here, although still, like, you could feel that competitiveness in him throughout this interview regardless. I hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know what I should check out next. If you wanna watch my full uncut reaction, all you need to do is go to my Patreon page. I include all my uncut reaction and analysis videos over there. Other than that, my name is Max. I appreciate you tuning in. I will catch you soon. Peace.